we're going to preview the coming episode of Power. And I want you guys to keep this in mind about this coming episode. This is episode five. It is the mid-season finale. Now, I've read one place where they're saying they're going to come back in December. But normally what they do is they have this little mid-season finale crap. And then they're gone till the end of January. So we'll see. Mm. But we want to know what type of fireworks are going to happen. And to give you guys context, let's take a look at episode five's trailer. What are you doing today? Now you know I want to see you on your birthday. The queen. Cain is the rook. Drew is the knight. Diane is the bishop. And they're running shit. I'm leaning on you now, Dee. Get your ego loan and get me some information. This is just like your father. I got us now. I know y'all up to something, huh? I can shut down the whole defense. Having said that, mm -hmm. and oftentimes at these mid-season finales, they like to throw a monkey wrench in the gear. They like to maybe have somebody abducted. it. I don't see them killing people this early, but power can be similar to Game of Thrones at times. At times. Um, sometimes they introduce new characters. So having said those things, I want you guys to think about it. Hit me in the comment section. Larry, what do you think? And shouts out to my big brother, Brandon, Just My Opinion Reviews. Go subscribe to his channel. Link in the description. Yeah, um, man. I mean, I don't know what they're going to do as far as, as far as a like a, a sort of a cliffhanger or a big boom moon moment where everybody can be like, ooh, I don't know what they're going to do with that. I mean, the way they're going with, with Tariq and, and looking like he's about to start getting it in with every single, you know, chick he's involved with, it, I'm thinking it might be something along those lines, but I don't know. It could be something where one of those one of those girls gets hurt. Like maybe Diana gets, you know, gets kidnapped by the GTG or whatever they are, you know, maybe, uh, you know. Maybe uh Lauren, something 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 happens with Lauren. Maybe she, you know, her little square biz boyfriend turns out to be a little bit of a gangster and steps to Tariq or something. I don't know, you know. Hmm. Maybe something happens with Braden. Somebody tries to get, you know, someone tries to to get at Braden and he has to do something with that. I don't know. It's hard to say. What about what about them bringing Tommy back? You want to talk about a mid-season finale? If, if they was to have that thing. Maybe Tommy pops up like the last five or six minutes. It would have you sitting here hot for the next two months, waiting to see what yeah. the hell Tommy is going to do. Could, could we get that a Tommy awesome. coming back? Yeah, that would be great. I don't, I, could, I don't, see, it. I don't see it for the midseason. I feel like Tommy is such a popular character, mm -hmm. and I think so many people are anticipating his show. I think that if they were going to do that, that they would do it at the end of the season so that not only could they – not only could they can they have that big moment for for Ghost Power Book 2, but they could also sort of do a lead-in to Tommy's show. So okay. I think if they're, if they're going to do it, it will probably be at the end of the season versus the, you know, the mid right – you know, versus mid the mid season. So yeah. even, even if we're going to see a big death at the end of the season – you still feel like having Tommy come on the show at the end of the season would supersede any of our emotional attachments to somebody dying. I think so. I would I would honestly rather see Tommy come back than just see someone dying. Someone dying is not that it's not that it can't be a good story plot or a good, you know, some sort of good finale, you know, watching, viewing. It's just it's sort of predictable and, and expected. And it would be much more interesting to see someone alive versus someone dead. Like, I would rather see them introduce a new character at the end of the season as the big surprise. Like, I would love to see, you know, at the end of all of this, maybe, uh, you know, maybe 2-Bit shows up on campus and, and basically is like, I got a call from your boy in, in California telling me that you needed a soldier or something. And that's when we find out that Tommy and Two Bit been in, in contact, and and Two Bits Two Bits out, and and now he's there working for Tariq. You know, now see that that's 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 what I'm hoping for. That somebody that we really loved in the past pops up now for the mid season, and maybe can continue the drama to the end. I'm with you. Don't bring right. Tommy now. 
save him for the end, especially considering he's getting his own show. You know, you can catapult yeah. him at the end and, you know, have us hype for his show, but maybe bring in a, a two bit, um, mm -hmm. you know, someone, someone of that ilk. I can't think of anyone else that's left that would galvanize the crowd, you know, besides Tommy and two bits, Spank's dead. Andre is dead. Ghost is dead. Don't nobody care about Angela's sister. There's really no, no. one else left you can bring back from the old episode. Maybe if this, run this. Yeah. If they had set this series a little bit later, if they had moved this series up, like maybe say like two years, instead of having him go directly from the last season into, into this right here, where it's only a couple of weeks or days or whatever of time passage, Mm -hmm. Then they could have brought in um what's his name's little girl? The the little Ali Italian Ali girl. Aliza Marie. Yeah, Aliza Marie. They could have brought her in, but because they didn't let any time pass, she's still a little kid. So they can't well, really work with her on that on that level yet. Well, they could bring but, they could still they could bring her back and her family, and you could have where the Italians um they still got beef with Tariq. You could you could bring them back. Um, I wouldn't be mad about that. Um, that would be fine for me. And you know, considering that they've already had Cooper Sachs and Rodriguez talking about what he did illegally to Eliza Marie, if word gets out to the Italian's family via Tariq, then you've mm -hmm. got more drama with Cooper Sachs to get Cooper Sachs off Tariq's back. So something like that could be a good thing to spice up the mid-season finale, bring back the Italians and Elisa Marie. That could be. It'll be interesting to see what they do with it. I mean, they have her there to work with. I mean, they could just leave her sort of – they could leave her just sort of in waiting there for a season or two because if it ever starts to get a little dull, if, if things start to wane a little bit, they can bring her in and people will be like, oh, snap, she's back, and, you know, could add that extra interest factor in there. So – I'm not – I mean, I think the show right now is good enough that it's standing on its own. I don't think they really need to bring anybody else in just yet. Right, I think I it'd agree. be smart to bring in Tommy just as a lead-in to his own show. But I don't really – I think the show's doing fine on its own. I don't really think they need to bring in anybody else. I know? don't either. I think the show is fine, but we've already seen they're casting my man from ATL. He's going to be in here somewhere. Maybe he's supposed to be the big um, coup de gras for the midseason finale. I don't know. He might be. Um, you know, maybe they'll bring Effie back and we'll find out she's connected to him because everybody likes right. Effie. Um, but there is one other person I've been reading the tea leaves, shaking the trees, letting stuff fall <laughs> out. There's a fan favorite, ladies and gentlemen, that a lot of people have been asking about. And I'm going to drop it on you. And if you're finding me and Larry for the first time, please subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to his. Check us both out. We go live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday night. Hit us on the gram. And when you super chat us, we give you something visually funny. So before I go into my diatribe about who fans are saying they want to come back, for family dad super chatting, let me give you, uh, let's see here. I got to give him a good one. Let me give him this one. Because I know he's black, he loves blacks, equality for all. So I'm going to give him this one if he was coming from another country. I'd like to give a big round of applause to my band, Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> I believe the children are our future. Thank you. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Love of all inside of me. <laughs> Sexual Chocolate. <laughs> God damn that boy can sing. You must be crazy. He good. You must be crazy. See, family dad, that's oh. what I'm saying to you. Damn, you a good super chatter. You good, and I appreciate it. 